In this video, we're going to use R to calculate a weighted average. We'll use, a, we'll use an example that Katherine Kosak uses in one of her videos. Here's the problem that uh, Katherine Kosak proposes in her discussion of weighted averages. We'll mirror her discussion of a paper and pencil solution with an R solution. Although it's not needed for our discussion or for our calculations, we will create a vector listing the categories of where the grades are assigned. So we're creating a categorical variable <coughs> that has a lab, test one, test two, and the final. We'll create a second vector showing the scores that we got on each, in, a, in each of those areas. Now let's pause at this moment and build a data frame containing this assignment in X. Data.frame is a very useful command in R. If we run this script, then R is going to... <coughs> Hang on, I had a typographical error there. These values need to be separated by a comma. If I run that script now, <coughs> then it builds this uh, data frame. It shows us this... Uh, let me pull this up so that you can actually see it all. It, it uh, builds this data frame with the assignment vector and the scores, that uh, the individual scores that we got on here. Okay. We'll continue using that concept of a data frame as we build more parts here. We also want to have the weights listed for each of those categories, so we'll build a vector for that. So we've built three vectors. One is the categorical vari variable, the categorical vector, showing the the different categories that we're getting graded on, the scores that we got in each of those categories, and the weight associated with each of those categories. Then we could look at the data frame of that information. Let's run that script. And then we see, let me pull that up so you can see it. <clears throat> now we've got, we've got this information, which is the assignments, the name of the assignments, the scores that we got on each of those assignments, and the weight associated with each one. So we're going to modify this just a little bit more by creating a vector that I'm going to call x, xw. That's going to be the, the uh, score times the weight. So that will be x times w. Now I'm interested in looking at the data frame that we get by putting all of those variables together. So let's run that script and pull this up so you can see it. So there's our assignment. Uh, we had those four categories for assignments. We had uh, our scores in each of those, the weight associated with each of those, and then the weight, the uh, score times the weight is in this uh, fourth column. Now let's check one item and also calculate the weighted total. First of all, let's look at the sum of the weights. We're thinking that that should be 100% or 1 in this case. Uh, let's look at uh, a second value here. Uh, let's look at the sum of the XWs. That's going to be our weighted average. So let's run that script. Just like that. And pull this up so that we can see our results. So there's our data frame. 
And now when we sum up the weights, it ends up being 1 or 100%. We sum up the x times the weights, and that's our weighted average. Okay, that's the idea, and just how easy it is in R.